Hello everyone, I am Heba Hassan from GFX Academy and today we will talk about a very serious problem a lot of people are talking about, especially the nuke beginners. When we talk about nuke and we want to finish our shot as a clip in order to be played on your computer, on your uh, lab, in every, uh, on every screen, you want to add a voice, you want to add some sound effects. So. Uh, you really find it difficult a little bit when you're dealing with Nuke. Of course, we know Nuke Studio here, and uh, it's really solved with that problem when you're adding whatever sound you want to your shots. But suppose your shot is very small, and you want to add your sa sound effect of your uh, your voice here in Nuke. Um, as composting so you want to finish it and add your sound effect how to do that how to add your audio first of all you have to know that Nuke doesn't accept any uh, extensions it adds only two extensions wave and ave so if you have any sound and you want to add it to Nuke you really need to convert it for me, for example, I use this software here. I use uh, AVCWare and I add my clip or my audio, whatever it is. And then you convert it to WAVE or AVE in order to be accepted inside Nuke. So you can use any converter, whatever you like. So just you need to make it WAVE or AVE to be accepted in Nuke. Okay, the advantage here is that you can add your sound effect and also make your video or your audio or sorry, your uh, picture be moved like your uh, audio waves. Let's see that together. Let's add my audio here. In order to add it, I need the audio read node. And in the audio read node, I have here in its properties the place of the file where is the file that need to be read in here so let's go i need to add my clip which is wave and just wait here you have to know that in your clip you don't have you don't uh, have here any space any dots any slashes anything like that if you have here a space like clip space in other word it will not be accepted here it will give you an error so the name of your audio or, or uh, your file needs to be without any uh, spaces so I have here one word dot wave okay now it's accepted nice I have here time range time range if I want this clip or this audio just to be a specific time it will be at specific time according to my timeline. If you want to make it specific here from one frame or from 0 to uh, 50 to 90 to 100 as well as you like. File time range it starts from 0 to 13.08. Uh, if you have a problem with loading your file, you can reload it. And down there here you have curves. You have already uh, inserted your your audio very nice, but in your curve editor you don't have any data. I need to have data here and on uh, in uh, my timeline in order to play with this information. To get curves of my audio or to have a curve editor of my audio here, just click on generate, and you will have a data. You will have a left curves and right curves and both very nice now I need to add curve to my photo I want to make my photo here or or your video here to be moved according to these waves yeah you, you know it's just like a link between your audio and your video if you want to do certain effect I just need to add a certain wave away from my main wave so just click here right click and go to your view and then to your 
audio and then to your source you can just make it source to your project default or your audio i just stay on project default and go to your draw style you can go to your draw style behind this or below and it will be nice of course to be below if you don't see that in your screen here yes below so i want to click below now i have here uh, different waves away from the main waves of my audio file now i want my photo here to just be animated according to these waves to be follow my audio file to do that let's add here a transformer and just go to for example my left and left click with control of course and just drag and click now let's see I have here a small a tiny animation if I just go here to my curve editor and hide my audio file I don't have any data here so this data here of my translate of the video itself or the photo itself so these waves are from the left here to my audio file so i i really don't notice this very nice so i need it to be bigger than this so how to do this let's see let's just edit this expression because we have here expression so let's go here and just click equal and for example let's say that i want these curves but a little bit bigger so just multiply 20 if i have a number here so i am right and let's just click ok now see now i might hide my curve here began to be very very big so let's play now see now i see movement very nice very nice your movement here up and down so it really let's open this it really gets from the one to minus one i need to see this here go go back 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 to see all of this As we see here my curve so my curve starts from minus to plus I don't want the minus curve so I don't want to see this really minus curves here so let's make it a little bit bigger like this and like this by the way I'm dragging clicking on my scroll bar and my alt so alt scroll okay in order to move freely so i have here curves in the positive and the minus so i need to remove these minus curves and just go with the positive curves so how to do this just go here and positive and just use the apps absolute uh mass like this just go okay now we see here no curves in the minus and just on the positive side let's see how it will work just go up 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 no down see very nice i played several times but i didn't listen to any audio i want to listen to my audio file with my video or with my photo how to listen to your audio here you just need to render it as a clip so just go here to your flip flip here flip book and just go here i have viewer one yes the rgb yes my timeline is from 1 to 100 here yeah. um, 
uh, the audio I don't have audio no I have an audio so go to audio read and now let's press OK as soon as it's finished rendering it will see here and we will see here the clip the audio and the video take that just wait a minute That almost done now we will see here our clip see once again just wait until it finish rendering Now here I have my audio and my video. Okay, very nice. Now you see here your movement and you you listen to your audio. Suppose you want to render it. We all know how to render, of course. But uh, by the way, if you want to hide uh, certain links like this, like this green connection, just come here and click alt e to hide your collection but you know that there is a connection between them with this green bar now let's come to render this video here just go out and go, go to your right node okay of course i want to render it as a clip in order to listen to my audio so just come here and choose the place and just write for example my clip okay dot move my clip dot move and save nice because I I choose move of course I do have here the file type move let's choose another codec to be a uh, high resolution so let's make it about H to uh, bind to 64 and where is I now have an audio file so let's add it in my audio file here so I choose the place of the file I choose it to be move I change my quality or my codec and I add my audio file now let's go to render of course it's not one frame it's 100 frame so make it global and now go to render the same as done before we will just wait till it finishes rendering till it finishes rendering all the frames here and just wait a little bit it finished now let's go to my clip my clip here Let's come here to add this my clip here. As you see here, my clip just go as a video here. So now I have a video and an audio together from Yook. I hope really that could help you in your files and your projects uh, to render whatever you want with the edu, audio, whatever you want if you want from Yook but just remember it's in Yook X and not in Yook but Yook X has this option in order not to face any errors or problems see that